What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you want to protect the ignition button on your car, you might want to check out this. So I just picked this up because this is your start button on my car, and it's very vertical. I'd actually wish it were a little more you know, horizontal, maybe up here or something, because you want to press down on it. And because I have to poke into it, I catch it with my fingernail a lot, so it kind of scratches it up. I actually want to just protect this. It's not so much for the aesthetics, just to find it. And what you can see here is it's very, very flush. And so sometimes, even though you can feel the button, sometimes you're pressing right here. So if this were a little bit more raised and pronounced, it would actually be easier to start. So I picked this up. So before we get to the installation, I thought I'd show you what I picked up. It's this little emblem here. Now, actually, what I did is I got a little cover that actually looked like the existing button. It was made for Chryslers. But what I found is that it had a little ridge around the end. It was kind of like a cap. And uh, it advertised 24 millimeters which is what I measured my ignition start button as, but it didn't fit. And it was maybe half a millimeter too small in diameter, so it wouldn't fit over perfectly. You could probably get it to work. But I just thought, hey, um, because of that, the, the little lip, because it's supposed to fit like a cap, what about just getting something that sits on the top, you know, and doesn't have to fit the edge and kind of cover every part of it. And so I found this, and it's like a, this little emblem, and... It's actually for AMG Mercedes. It also is 24 millimeters. So the nice thing about it is that it should fit no matter what. Because if my button is just like 24 and a half millimeters, it'll fit on the top. Probably won't go right to the edge, but that'll be good enough. And so I thought this might just add a millimeter of height to it and make it a little bit more tactile. And I can find it and press it in. Now you can see here, it is like, I don't know, a metalized plastic. It does have a chrome finish. Uh, it's just kind of a stamped molded piece. It says AMG and Alpha Tabak, which I have no idea what it means or any of these iconography, but it looks pretty nice and it stands out and it looks like metal, even though I think it might be, um, I don't know if it's metal or plastic. But the other thing I wanna show you here is if you look at it, you can see it's slightly domed. It's slightly domed on the bottom. So because my button has just a little bit of that uh, curvature, it should be nice and, and hopefully fit well, even though it's not designed for this. So. It's not something you'll probably see, and that's not really why I'm doing it, just to kind of protect it from somewhere. So let's go ahead and install it and see if it works. All right, so before we install this, you do want to kind of clean off your button here. Um, I don't necessarily need to make this a permanent, permanent install. So if you have a little bit of rubbing alcohol or an electronics cleaning wipe or something like that, that'll probably work quite well. Uh, the cleaner it is, the more permanently it'll stick. I actually am slightly concerned about it producing a residue and sticking on there permanently. So I'm not even sure that I want it to stick on there too well. I would like to be able to remove it. So it has a little backing here, so I'm gonna take that off. Probably a little bit sacrilege to install a Mercedes emblem into a Maserati, but you know what? When you're the boss, you get to do whatever you want. Right, so I got it installed, and I will say that because it is 24 millimeters and that button is pretty much 24 millimeters, you definitely want to get it centered. You don't want anything hanging off the edge because it might scrape. You also, when you're putting it on, don't want to have the key fob on you. I specifically don't have it with me because otherwise when you're pressing it on and kind of getting it centered and uh, on there, your car is going to keep starting. So I was just kind of pushing it and kind of making sure that it was nice and stuck, but you don't want to keep turning on and off the car during that. But I will tell you, I think that looks pretty good. Might be a little hard to see there with the flash and everything, but it now has like a metalized look, which is kind of nice because there's that uh, chrome <laughs> ring around the edge. That's my fingerprints on it. And so uh, it just looks a little more premium and feels good. When I'm reaching down here, you can feel that texture and it just feels like a distinct button as opposed to just that plastic beforehand. Now, this piece wasn't that expensive. It was, you know, 12 bucks or something like that. It does come in some other sizes. I think like a 34 millimeter up to like a 47 millimeter. So I think some of the hybrids have a really big uh, start button or power button. Um, so I just think it looks pretty nice. If you want to pick this little bad boy up for your car, you absolutely can. I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda out.